Shakes body, 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 the body shakes, body, body, body. Yeah, I, I just kind of did that. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Oh, look! O M G. Oh, let's get joined. Let's go. Join. Let's get. Let's see how this looks. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, wait. oh, yo, we're a beach ball. Hold on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome to my iron. <laughs> that went well. Hello everyone, how's it going? I am Lemur. Welcome to the Q&A stream for Played Up. Super excited to have everyone here. If you don't know who I am, I am Lemur. I'm the quality assurance supervisor for Played Up specifically. Um, I take care of things like the play testing, uh, testing out new patches, helping out with all the alpha testers. Uh, I do a lot of looking through suggestions, applying those, looking at all that craziness. Um, super excited to have everyone back here um, for the second Q&A now. Uh, I'm super, super excited title um but uh so glad to have everyone here and hanging out um we are going to get through as many questions as possible tonight um i do have a friend helping me out ben uh ben is going to be in the background playing the game uh he's going to be focusing on trying to show off some of the new content we already have started out a little bit we're like on day seven already now um but super excited to have everyone here but i think the most important thing is I think we should show off the new content do you guys want to see some of the new stuff coming your way because i want to see it I think we need to see it, right? Like we should just roll a tra just roll the footage. Should we just should we just roll the footage? I think we should. I think we should. Let's go ahead and do it.
here. Hello, everybody. So Ben's here. He's going to start playing. Um, we're going to go ahead and cover the cards that we have first in the game uh, so you can all see that uh, on there, uh, and we'll be ready to go with that. So Ben, you want to go ahead and cycle through the cards for us really quick so we can check those out. Uh, potato sales are main. Uh, what shall it be now? It's just a side. Um, so like how before it was, um, oh, you don't have them up. I have to pull them up. That's right, because I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Uh, so let me go, go through the active cards. So we have Snake, we have Pumpkin Seats, uh, we have Exclusive, uh, and we have Trick Pyro Patrons. So basically people are going to set the kitchens on fire nonstop. Um, so we're super excited for that. So Ben's going to continue playing in the background. Um, is visiting enabled? Yes, it is. But Tweaker Treat Mode is not enabled yet. I want to get through some of the, the questions, and then we'll enable Trick or Treat Mode. Um, but thank you all so much. Um, also, thank you for those of you who jumped in, Mikey and Alan, with those resubs and all those follows coming in already. You're all amazing. But let's go ahead and cover up some questions from the last Q&A. Um, let's talk about those and what they're going to look like. So we briefly spoke last time about – oh, I should probably turn the volume up so people can hear you. Uh, that might help a little bit. Uh, or not hear you, but hear the effects a little bit here. A little bit of music for you too. Because um, you can hear this brand new Halloween music also. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but basically, uh, let's go ahead and start out with clearing up a couple things. First off, um, let's talk about saves. I know there's been a lot of questions around saves. And so a lot of people are interested uh, to know about that stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and give the the answer to this. So originally the game was not designed to be put uh, put up and put down. Um, we have since seen players really take hold of the emergency save function uh, in ways that we did not anticipate. So with that being said, we're looking into ways of redefining the save system for everybody. Uh, so that's really what it's going to come down to is it's going to be talking about the save system. Um, it's it's looking at, but it's not right away. There you go. You can see the tables just catch on fire with the trick. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, next is going to be, we're going to talk about upgraded blueprint chances because that was a question that we had last time. Um, so the answer to the question is the upgraded blueprint chance is rolled per blueprint. Uh, and so um, uh, it's rolled per more per blueprint. Um, it's not just like a, a daily, uh, every 10 days, it's 10%. Every day, there's a small increase in that percentage for an upgraded blueprint, but it's rolled per blueprint. Uh <laughs> The customers have costumes? Yes, Bailey, they do. Super excited for that. Uh, next is I want to talk about the Christmas glitch. Um, so due to the problems coming in with saves, uh, the Christmas glitch has been uh, removed. Uh, so that means uh, basically we're removing access to it because of all the save problems that are occurring with it. So we don't want those to occur. So in order to avoid them, we're just going to go ahead. It just got removed. Um, that's the best way to answer that. So... Now let's jump to the Discord question. So if you're not already a member of the Played Up Discord, go go join it now. Um, that's an option for you, so make sure you do that. Uh, so uh, going to those questions, uh, some people asked what my favorite Halloween candy was. Uh, Reese's Pumpkins is actually my favorite. Um, I did ask the developer uh, what their favorite Halloween candy was, and they said anything chocolate, period. Anything chocolate. Um, that was the, the, the exact words. Uh, the next question we had was, will we be able to wear the new hats every day? Um, the answer to that question is yes. The hats and everything will be staying in the game permanently. Um, and they're going to be hanging out for a long time. So we're super, super excited to have that out for everybody uh, and keep those hats coming. So uh, I'm, I'm so glad to have everyone here. Uh <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, next one was, uh, will the new dishes be temporary? No, all these dishes are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. Um, we're super excited to have everybody here and hanging out um, and having fun uh, with all that stuff. Uh, the question thing is just for the mods to work up, uh, to update this little, little thing right here next to you. Um, so if you have a question, just type it in chat. One of them will add it to a separate channel we have running where I can answer the questions. Um, but uh, you can see here that that, that is uh, one of those things. But thank you, Doug, for that resub also. Um, what do we have next? Uh, the new dishes are permanent. I said that. Um, will we get full patch notes? The answer to that question is yes on release. Wow, this one's really loud. We're going to turn this down just a smidgen. Um, uh, we will get patch notes. They will come on release. They're not going to come before that, though. Um, so you will, you'll, this is the kind of the best overall patch notes you're going to get or watching other people, you know, if they, uh, uh the, the select streamers that do get access, uh, the day before. But other than that, um, 
Let's see, we got, uh, are we gonna have full new achievements? No, we are not gonna have new achievements for this patch. Uh, are old saves compatible with the update? So let's talk about this one really quick because this is gonna be a little bit of a long-winded answer here. Uh, specifically, yes, old saves are compatible. However, big however, due to the quality of life fix that now requires you to have the ingredients in the restaurants, if you threw out your previous ingredient bins on your run you're currently running right now, that run will be impossible and you don't get them back. So if you did a run where you tossed everything to the side, you got to finish that before the patch comes out uh, on the 25th. So, so saves that don't that, that you have to have that stuff it won't let you finish um, but if you have a, just a normal run going with all the ingredient bins you're fine just just that little heads up there right because that was a glitch or, or a bug uh, and it got fixed on this patch um what is in the twitch integration so there's trick or treat mode um which will enable you to hit xp spark visit with a treat or xp spark visit with uh a trick um the treat will help us the trick will hurt us it could be spontaneously combusting the restaurant it could be uh making a mess it, there's all kinds of things right it's it's a crazy fun integration um but that's really the only major change to the integration other than you can see everyone's wearing halloween costumes uh as they visit the restaurant which is super super cool to see also um but we don't have trick or treat mode on yet. Uh, we will be turning on probably in uh, the thing. Uh, like uh, treats would be like double money. Um, sometimes they'll just leave, like stuff like that, right? It's it's, it's actually helping us. Um, so we'll turn that out probably on the back half, um, and I'll probably have to help Ben during that time uh, because you can even see with this trick, the tricks are pretty nasty. Uh, the trick cards specifically, as you see the tables light on fire randomly. Um, let's see, is the update free? Yes, the update is free. What are all the new appliances? The the two are the teleporter uh, and the uh, rotating grabber, uh, which will let you kind of corner grabber is what it's being called specifically uh, out there. Uh, I think it's the most common way. Not so much random as every currently table burst in fire. Yes, but the other one's going to be like literally fires going randomly into places. Uh, okay, so update. Uh, but these are all the Discord questions still. We're not there yet. Um... Will there be pre-launch access? There will be some preview streams, uh, but no direct access prior to the launch on October 25th, uh, which will the game will be at its lowest price ever. So uh, if you don't own it already or no friends that don't own it, um, the game will be going on sale on the day of launch for the patch. So super awesome for that one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Card suggestions. The standard every three day cards will always make things harder. However, franchise cards will be a benefit. So when suggesting cards, try to keep that in mind. Um, so we do look at suggestions in the played up discord. Um, so if you're looking to make a card suggestion, makes you understand that the goal is to make the standard three day cards uh, uh, make the run harder and the franchise runs to benefit you in some way. So when you're making those suggestions, just go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see here. What's next? Uh, are mods supported? So we're seeing some people do some really cool stuff with mods, um, and we want to bring uh, the support officially to the game. Uh, it's something currently currently being investigated. Um, so uh, Symphony, no, it's a uh, grabber, and then Spark Grabber and uh, Rotating Grabber are cyclical. So you can upgrade between the two nonstop. So whatever you want to do there. Uh, and with that being said, our corner grabber is permanent in their setting. Um, you can set them in practice mode and change them during the day, but if you don't want them, uh, they will not reset. So kind of like the smart grabber is the best way to put it. Um, so you can change them in the day if you force them, uh, but they'll stay unless you change them or if you set them up. Um, let's see here. Uh, thank you, Ontario, for that resub. Um, are there other costumes? You saw the costumes that are going to be there for Halloween. If you're talking about after Halloween, there is a goal to have that uh, come in and uh, look at what that's going to be. Um, so just know that. Um, you know, what those are, they're probably going to be added to because we already have something in place, right? So they will most likely be added to, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, can quarter girl grabbers go straight? Yes. I didn't answer that one. I apologize. Um, Will customers take food off teleporters? Yes. When we found out that you could take them off teleporters and we being the alpha testers, we were so, so excited. It was one of the coolest things we've had uh, hop up and it was just awesome to see that. Uh, but that is also the reason why they're very expensive. Uh, and by very expensive, I mean one teleporter is $1,200. 
Um, will the Halloween maps continually reduce um, patients uh, with rain and things of that nature? Um, the answer to that question, yes, it's the same as every other map. If it's raining or anything like you can see right now, they will have a patient decrease and all that stuff. Yes, good thing for discount desks, definitely for sure. Um, but there, so the reason I, I'm going to go into the teleporter question a little bit, so we're going to jump back. Um, uh, let's jump back to the teleporter question. So let's cover that really fast. Um, it's, it's because they're very strong, right? Teleporters allow us to put anything anywhere in the restaurant. They allow us to serve customers. They allow us to do so much that they have so much power. We didn't want them just to be right off the bat. You've got them. No questions asked. It replaces the need for so much stuff. So we, the, or the developer, I say we, the developer wanted to make sure that these items had some, some limits and, and the best way to limit that was with the expensive item. And you do need a pair of them. Um, so you'll need two, uh, but with a discount desk, eventually in three or four days, you can mock it down to, to where you're good to go anyhow, uh, as we all know. So in general, that should be fine. Um, now I'm just going to answer a couple. I asked the, the dev some extra questions. Yes, they are an upgrade from Dumbwaiters. Um, I did ask the dev a couple extra questions uh, that I saw some people popping out. Um, I already said that it's their favorite Halloween candy is anything chocolate. Their favorite costume in the game is the cloak costume. They were super excited about that when they were like, cloak. Like, no no questions asked. Super excited. Um, they were having a blast with that. Uh, what are the suggestions that help you the most was the next question. Um, and they were specific about quality of life, right? Seeing things from a new perspective outside of um, some of us that have been in the game for a long time, outside of their perspective and stuff, seeing those quality of life changes people want to see are some of the best suggestions. Um that come out there. Uh, mine's actually the cloak too, by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering what mine was. Uh, we're gonna jump into long OT runs here for a second. Um, so I know there's been some conversation around, you can take mashed potatoes, it's okay. <laughs> I don't think you can survive risky rest reservations. Um, <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, but, um, uh, long OT runs. Let's go ahead and talk about those really quick because I know some people have seen like myself or, or uh, Penguin or Hafu uh, doing runs that are 70 to 80 um, or 100 days in overtime where they're still serving food. Um, and we talked about it a little bit last time at the Q&A. Uh, and basically, they don't want to change it right now since a lot of people love these long runs. Um, but we, the developer does want to introduce some mechanics to control long play sessions, um, if you wish. right? So you can kind of figure out some of those things. Like They're looking at that to see what the, the, the options they have are uh, to change those mechanics to where you can do them differently. Um, and the last question I had for them was, what was the hardest part in creating plate up? Uh, and they said it's the UI. The UI was one of the hardest things they've ever had to manage because there's so much information you have to fit on the screen um, because the customers need everything um, and and all of that kind of fun stuff. So the UI is just hard to manage and keep things going because you have the patience bars, you have uh, the money up to the, the side, you've got the day, you've got the players. There's just so much stuff, right? The UI just gets absolutely crazy for them. Um, and so it's just one of those fantastic things. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and jump into um, some of the Q&A questions here. Oh, yes, I forgot one. Uh, pineapple pizza was the question. Pineapple pizza. So there's been some requests for pineapple pizza. A lot of requests for pineapple pizza. Uh, there's not currently pineapple in the game, uh, so they can't do pineapple pizza. So if pineapple gets added, maybe. But there's no pineapple in the game right now. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> Probably not the best play answer that everyone wants, but um <laughs> uh but yes. So uh uh in Lemur's description, what does non-black flower meat run means? Uh so flower pots are currently in a state where uh, you can not serve a single customer. Um, so if you just fill your entire restaurant full of flower pots, um, you could have like 150 flower pots and just serve black flowers. There's three different choices, right? You have the blue flower, the yellow flower, the black flower. Black flower sends the entire group away. Blue flower changes their order and resets the patients. The yellow flower also resets the patients. Uh, so 
with all of that being said, um, you can just sit there and give everybody black flowers and get to like OT 150 um, through that. Uh, and so it's just, a you know, kind of abusing that situation. Um, takes notes. I, I love your comment there. Um, but yeah, so basically in a nutshell, um, it's the longest run where you're still serving food. Um, and I think there's people getting, I think Hafu and, and Penguin, as far as I know, are getting close. Um, I didn't mean that to actually be, it's fine. <laughs> of course. Um, what does, uh, does the number of customers scale the physical size of your restaurant? Oh, that's a good question. I love that question. So the answer to that question is no, it does not. Uh, the only thing that affects uh, your customer number is the dish you order and the num or the dish you choose and the number of um, people that are playing the game. So if you have two, three, or four people, you'll have more customers as you go up in players. Uh, and the dish you choose as your start. Uh oh, Ben. <laughs> oh no, Ben! <laughs> oh god, the trick got him good. <laughs> That's gonna jump back in. Um, <laughs> welcome to the trick mode. It's savage. <laughs> well, that went up in flames. That's an understatement of the century. <laughs> Lit the customer on fire. Yeah, if you want the achievement, this is a great one to get that achievement. Um, if only we could blame Ben or something. Yeah, right. Um, sorry, I had to laugh for a minute there. Uh, so yeah, so basically uh, things like steak. So the ones with the least amount of customers are stir fry specifically. Stir fry has the lowest number of... Um, customers uh and then uh steak steak pies pizza uh breakfast and i feel like i'm missing one steak pies pizza breakfast i miss and fish have the next lowest uh and then um and then um uh hot dogs and hamburger and burgers have the, the highest number of customers um yeah new restaurant means new visits yes uh, can Ben franchise with new tricks? Lol. <laughs> I love the prediction. Uh, so yeah, that's the answer to your question, right? Is, 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 uh, the restaurant does not, but those are the things that affect your customers. I think you said burgers twice. Well, okay. I'm sorry. Pizza's uh, a middle. Duh, are these maps just temporary? Uh, so the Halloween map um, most likely will be temporary. Uh, it, it will go away most likely at the end of the Halloween event. Uh, but that's not saying that's a for sure thing, right? Um, but some things like the food items are going to remain. Some things are still tossed up um, to be an option. It might just be something like a, a different way of interacting with these that has yet to be decided. So enjoy it while it's here. Uh, it's the best way to put that one. Um, okay, what does no more tiers of steaks and soups mean? Great question. So glad you asked that question. Let's talk about this. Um, uh, so, um, thank you, Guest of Honor, for those 100 bits, and Aquarister for that resub of the Prime, and Sakura with the bits. I missed these two. Uh, and Brit Bunny with the bits, uh, and Renato with the bits. Thank you all. Uh, wanted to make sure I get those in there. Um, okay, so that means like soups and steaks, right? Soups currently in 105 were hidden behind. Um, uh, so you had to get carrot first, right? Carrots, Ben's out of plates. Oh no. Um, but, um, they were hidden behind carrot soup, right? So you had to get carrot soup first and then you got meat soup and then you got tomato soup. No longer is that an option. Um, now you'll get whatever soup you get. So it's any of them. Um, so any of those soups, uh, can pop up at any time. That's the same thing of, um, that's the same thing for like steaks. Steaks were hidden behind, like you had to get thin cut, then thick cut, and then all those things. So now you can get any random steak on the first card um, on there. Uh, let me go ahead and fix Ben's thing. Uh, game, drop lettuce inside. There we go. Uh, <laughs> let's help him out a little bit. Um, okay. But does that answer your question about this? The, 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 that's a good change. Glad to hear um, what happens if Ben keeps chopping the pumpkin? Um, I'll answer that question. So the pumpkin, we'll talk about the pumpkin in depth here. Um, so there's there's three cards, if you didn't see, for the pumpkin. There was, um, and we'll run the uh, preview uh, trailer once again um, on the, on the okay, about, you know, half hour, 45 minutes, right at about the hour mark of this. Um, but there are three types of pumpkin dishes. There's pumpkin soup, 
pumpkin seeds, and pumpkin pie, right? So when you have your pumpkins, they come out as a full pumpkin. Um, then you take out the seeds. The seeds are the trash. You can cook them if you have the starter. If not, you throw it out. Then you have the full pumpkin. And then you need to chop the pumpkin and add it to your standard broth mix for pumpkin soup or add it to a non-par-baked pie uh, crust and cook it for pumpkin pie. So pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie, and pumpkin seeds. Um, is still a pie-only dessert? Uh, no, it is not a pie-only dessert. Pumpkin pie can drop on anything. Um, you can still par-bake it, but um, you don't have to par-bake it. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's talk about dessert pies really quick. Uh, dessert pies no longer need plates. That's right. Super excited. I don't know if you caught that on the thing, but no longer do you need plates on your dessert pies. You just throw the pie at them and have them savage it. Uh, so you just go, hey, take pie, huh, and make them just eat it. Uh, no. So there's apple pie, um, and now there's pumpkin pie. So there's two pies. Uh, super excited for that. So be excited for that stuff, right? So that's less dishes um, that we have in there. Are trick-or-treat cards temporary? Um, so you can still franchise with trick cards, right? Um they're only on the Halloween map currently, so if you don't want to deal with the trick cards, you can uh, go to a different map and play with all the new stuff without the trick cards. Um, uh, we have, or the developer has not decided uh, if they want them to be permanent or not yet, um, and that'll be coming soon. Um, so, but it, you could see it either way. But most likely, I would expect them to be maybe permanent. I don't, I don't know. It's it's a tough call, right? Because um, they are pretty savage, right? They are very rough, um, but. Yes, that's that's the answer to the question. Is 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 the trick cards um, are are right now going to be in there? They're on the Halloween map only, um, and then the Halloween map is most likely going away. So those might go with them, but that could be a conversation. Um, uh, okay, we'll be getting new flooring and wall options. Yes, yes, you will. Um, uh, if you didn't see, there's. Hold on, I'm going to remember this. There are six new wall options and four new floor options and three event um, decorations. Uh, the, the event decorations do not count towards your um, theme total uh, for your points, uh, but they do count um, as a fun thing to have in your restaurant. So, And they're free. They don't cost any money. Um, so super excited about that one uh, on there. Um, so new floors, yay. Uh, they are not all Halloween themed. They are all random, and those will be sticking around. Um, how are corner grabbers made? Upgraded from grabbers. Yeah, so the upgrade line for corner grabbers is going to be you have a conveyor. You throw it in the blueprint desk. You update it, um, and then you get the grabber and then you upgrade the grabber again and then it's a cyclical upgrade between smart grabbers and uh corner grabbers or they're called rotating grabbers where you can just cycle between the two of them um so if you accidentally upgrade the smart grabber you can upgrade it again oh no did i leave that on by accident oh no ben let me fix that i didn't know that was on it shouldn't have been on interesting I don't know why that poll popped up. That's interesting. Uh, can someone end that poll, please? Thanks. Um, but uh, don't know why that's there. You, you can vote, but he already picked this card. So uh, we don't want to bury him too much because he's already got to do this um, in front of everybody. Uh, but that's how quarter grabbers are made, right? So it's a little, little bit of a circle um, at the top end of it. Uh, is there any plans to make fully upgraded items rotate through other versions items like the research do? I'm so sick of heated mixers. I'm so glad you said that. Um, in as I said in the earlier thing, which we'll show again, um, all of the so sinks, bins, mixers, research desks have all gone cyclical. Meaning, um, it'll go. I gotta pull up my. I gotta pull up my my pictures that I have. Um, I can actually pull them up here and pull them on the screen for everybody, so you guys can see them. How about that? I hope this doesn't pop up on the main screen. It didn't. Um, let's jump over here desktop so i can pull those up for everybody so you can see what those are uh find the right folder because you know i was totally prepared to pull this stuff up um so here's the bin cycle now um so it literally goes um compost or compacting composting uh expanded and you just cycle through those uh and then we have the mixer cycle which goes heated conveying rapid um is the one on that one uh, and then there's the sink one, which goes 
uh, dishwasher, soaking sink, power sink, a wash basin, and then it goes cyclical in there. Um, so no longer is the dishwasher an upgrade from the wash basin. You can get that straight up if you want to. Uh, totally up to you, um, which we're all super excited, I think, for that to that big change right there. Um, I think that's a huge one. Uh, uh, but super excited for that one. Um, tables, we haven't talked to, uh, I haven't talked to the dev about it, um, but if you want, drop that in the uh, Played Up Discord. Oh, no, ad break. I'm sorry. Um, I'll wait for the ad to finish. It's got 10 seconds. We'll wait for the ad to finish. I apologize. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that. All right, ad is over. Uh, so tables, we have not talked about it. Um, but uh, if you want, add that to the plate up Discord. Uh, if you are not a part of the plate up Discord, drop that as a suggestion. Um, and we can look at that as an option. Um, and I can talk to the dev about it. Definitely an option. Um, but um, I do want to talk about, there was another question I saw come up. Um, the heated mixer did get a rather large buff, if you did not know. Um, uh, oh, boy. Stream moments, you're going to be that guy? Okay, cool. Um, it, it got a large buff. So now the heated mixer um, will not burn objects and got... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm seeing a timer over here. Um, uh, and it's also got double the speed. So it's twice as fast. And uh, the heat mixer is now a safety heat mixer. Um, what the heck is trick and treat? I think we talked about trick or treat, right? Oh, no, we didn't talk about the trick or treat. So there's a Twitch extension um, uh, that allows you to hit exclamation mark visit with trick or exclamation mark visit with treat. Uh, tricks will do things like randomly set a fire in the restaurant. They'll make an extra mess. Um, you'll change your order randomly. Um, all kinds of random stuff, right? Um, and then uh, there's treats, which will like double your money, um, make a buffer square, stuff like that. Super, super awesome. Um, but so glad to have it um, on there. Uh, but yeah, we're glad to have that one on there. Uh, are there any UI changes in this update? I asked before, but Vegas complaint about the game is not being able to tell who ordered what when the tables are touching each other vertically. So, um, we talked about, I, t I did talk to the, uh, the dev said the hardest part of the game is the UI, right? So simply put the UI is, is a rough one. Uh, definitely a, a hard, um, option to, to tackle. Uh, and so, I know we fixed, I want to get this right. Uh, I know the dev fixed. Um, bouncing tele bouncing patient bars going everywhere. Patient bars not properly showing um, when they were stacking weird. Um, but I don't think that stops your vertical problem as much as you want it to. Um, but there is a conversation being had about looking at that and trying to figure it out. But the UI is the, is the biggest issue. Um, that the dev has with the game, right? It's it's a battle that they're having. Uh, so they're working through it, uh, but they want to look at what they can do to fix that patience. Because the patience bar is important, and so is the dish bar. But if they're battling and they're bouncing all over, it's even harder to see. So it's trying to find what that looks like and getting creative and finding a new way to layer the patience bar with the dish, with this, with that, with this, and, and still have it massively visible for everybody. And that's really the biggest um, um, question. So it's one of those... Um, Battles, right? I think is the best way to put it, the UI battles that are out there. Um, <laughs> I love how the poll went live with a card that hasn't been chosen. Yeah, um, that is funny. Uh, but so there's there's no major UI updates. Um, I'm trying to go through this on this patch. No, um, but there is none. No, no, not on this patch. Uh, I kind of got sidetracked on that one. Yes, he's there, there's there's aware there's an issue and, and it is being investigated. Um, so uh, I do want to make a note for everybody, uh, just as a heads up for everyone. Um, make sure if you haven't already, uh, go check out the Plate Up Discord. It's one of those things that you can go check out. You can drop suggestions there. Um, I look at them. I go through them. Um, I relay them to the dev. Dev looks at them sometimes. All kinds of great stuff over there. There's all kinds of events, um, the latest news, everything that's over there. Um, I also do play Plate Up a lot, so you're more than welcome to drop a follow if you want to um, and join the community. I do all kinds of crazy stuff where people can take stuff away. Um, I take chaos to a whole new level. Uh, so if you want to savage a restaurant, you can go ahead and bring it on. Um, 
uh, all that great stuff. So, um, but so glad to have everyone here. Uh, and if you don't know who I am, I know I've already said this to some, uh, but I am Lemur. Uh, I am the uh, quality assurance uh, supervisor for Played Up. I handle all the alpha test um, and making sure that goes through smoothly and what's happening on that. And then on top of it, um, I do help out with those suggestions and quality of life things. So, um, and uh, I love breaking the game. It's one of the favorite things I do. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's a note there for everybody. Um, will we be able to trigger practice? Oh. So, oh, he's going to take pumpkin seeds for sure. Uh, not even a question in my mind. Um, I do want to show you really quick. Uh, I'm going to jump back into the game here. Oh, uh, Ben, oh, Ben, no. I got to jump into the game. I got to click on the screen. Um, so, if you hit start, you can see practice mode is now activatable from the menu. Literally, practice mode can just get you click a button, it's right in the menu. And on top of it, when we go into practice mode, when we go into practice mode, <laughs> um, you remember how before you used to reset at the front of the restaurant? Guess what? When we leave practice mode, you go back to the same spot you were. Super excited for that, right? That's one of the big quality life changes. I was so excited for this patch. So freaking excited for it. Um, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I love it. Um, I'm going to remove my input so he doesn't get too many customers. Um, and then when wear Zoomy shoes during setup. So um, I did have a conversation with the dev about that literally before stream um, about figuring out the setup thing. Um, and so if you've got any creative ideas when it comes to that stuff, please drop those. In, like I, I say, put them in the suggestions, but like I religiously look at those suggestions, right? A and the dev looks at them. And so please put them in there because there we there is an understanding that the setup can get a little crazy, especially when you're modifying. Like, oh, I need to move my research from here and my automation all the way to over here, right? When that happens, we understand that it, it takes a long time to do that, but we're trying to figure out a, a fun, creative way to do that. So please, um, if you have ideas, throw them out there um, and just throw them in there. Um, question, just out of curiosity, are known existing seeds affected by the update? Um, no, Ben, uh, does Monica or Ben or anyone in chat that have been alpha testing, do you know if they're affected? I don't, I think they just changed the theme. I actually never asked th 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 about that question. Um, Oh, I'm looking at chat right now to see if um, anyone know. They shouldn't be as far as you know. I don't believe so. Okay. Um, so overall, no one, no one, everyone thinks that they're they're not changing. It just changes them to Halloween, uh, possibly from the other thing. I think that's what it is, but I'm like 97% sure. But there's a chance I'm wrong, but most likely no. Um, but one of those things for sure. Um, this is a basic game question, but... How do you guarantee where customers leave the plates on extended tables? I will jump back to this question at the end of today. So Ben, don't run the next day. We're going to jump in and answer this question at the end of today. Ben's got it. Um, so we'll jump back to that question because I can show you. Um, so we're going to jump to the next question. Uh, are event decorations and new wallpapers exclusive to Halloween maps? Uh, no, they should be everywhere. Um, as far as I know, uh, the decorations maybe, but uh, no, I think they're everywhere. Um, the trick... The trick cards are uh, exclusive to the Halloween event, um, but the 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 wallpapers and and all of that stuff are gonna stay. They're gonna they're, they're gonna be here. They're not going anywhere. So super excited for that one. Uh, thank you, uh, push for that resub. It means so much. Um, and then uh, thank you for those follows. For those of you that are dropping follows in there, um, thank you so much. Um, but I will. Can I get a star on that question just so I can uh, double check about the the decorate? I mean, we could find out really quick. It's not like it's a big deal. Um, if someone can do a quick test on that, let me know. Uh, but I'm not ninety percent sure um, that you can. Um, all right, so the day's almost over. Let's go ahead and jump back into the game um, and talk about uh, basic game question. But how you guarantee where customers leave plates uh, on tables? Uh, thank you, Vixen, for that sub. Also. Um. Dining with my science friend as a ghost. Yes, super exciting. Um, come on, day finish. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just mess with Ben's restaurant here really quick. So you see we have two tables up here at the top, right? We have the right table and the left table. Um, the number of seats that you have available is where the uh, plates will end. So that number goes on whatever table you put down last. So right here, the plates will go to the right. If I put this one down last here, the 
the plates will go on the left. So where that number is touching, and if you're doing vertical, you can see how it moves all the way up to the top, right? So we want it down here so you know where it is. But that is how you know um, where those those tables are going as I completely mess everything up for Ben. Um, so I'll jump my input out of there, but then I hope that answers your question um, and helps you out. Um, are we going to have soda, milk, or water or something like that as a side? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, dishwater is upgradable. Yeah, it's a cyclical upgrade. So you can upgrade it and, and make it like into, um, it'll go soaking sink and then it'll go power washer. Um, so super excited about that. That's why it's upgradable. Um, so that was originally in the game. Um, having beverages was originally in the game well before like, I think that was like patch like 0.8 or something like way early in the game. Right. Um, so it's not something that um, is on the table for like an immediate update possibly um but if you have a way to think of it and it, i know it's in suggestions already um so i wouldn't say it's something that's never going to happen it did exist at one point um but it's kind of gone away because it didn't make sense in the game state so might come back might not you know it's going to be kind of it's just not right now on the table um someone asked a portion or question there's the answer to your question uh portion or pulse uh a splitting action which we could talk about that uh do the tricks and treat visits last the entire run or you can change them um by typing to the other one you know what that's a great question and i think ben should test that now so let's go ahead and briefly turn on ben's super excited for this uh trick or treats so Ben, enjoy this. Um, so now you all have access to x Spark Visit uh, Trick or Treat. Uh, go ahead and if you want, toss it at Ben. Um, we'll test them out and get an answer to that question. <laughs> um, so if you want to give Ben treats or tricks or, you know, have fun with that, go x Spark. It's x Spark Visit Trick or x Spark Visit Treat. One of the two. Um, and we'll see if it updates and if it changes. And Oh, there we go. So they just took it, I think, without it. Um, go get it and then change it for the next day and we'll see what happens. Um, just don't spam it too much. Just do it one time. That's all you got to do. Um, so we'll answer that question later. So uh, if I can get like a little star or something next to that one to come back to it, um, just so I remember. Um, how are set seats going to change? The entire reshuffle or design of cards? Will future updates tackle the same issue? Um, so yeah, it, it was, so there was instability when it came to seeds for a while. Um, that is one of the bugs that got fixed uh, for this patch um, where you wouldn't have the same uh, seed coming up uh, the layout um, every single time so um, so yeah that got fixed but um, the plan is as far as I know is just to have it where it's like this where um, some of the new if there is new seeds or something like that or new things they just replace the background of some of the uh, other ones um, and they're not going to change the seeds so the seeds should relatively stay the exact same so you see like the little ghost pops up I don't know what you guys did but you can see like yeah he's getting buffers out here for treats so you can see those all um Slide halfway across the restaurant. Yeah, so there's tricks. I don't know if there's anybody any tricks where they light themselves on fire. Oh, Ben, I didn't even think about that. If he lights, okay, if he lights on fire, I'm going to have to go save him, just to be clear. <laughs> so I got to have my controller in my lap just in case, because he has no way to get out of it. I didn't even give him a heads up that I was going to do a trick. Um, so hopefully no one lights the table on fire. Uh, <laughs> um... How do you automate pumpkin pie, spine fish, a portion that takes seeds out? Yeah, so everything... So there's two... I'm going to answer this question... Um, a little bit um, extra. So uh, there are two major actions that happen within the game, right? There's the interact ap action and the uh, portioning action, right? Um, so you know the standard like pick up, put down, um, or chopping something and all of that stuff is a, 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 or I'm sorry, the chopping and the mixing and the combining of things is more of the interact action. Um, if you have, um, uh, what was I going to say? If you have the portioning action, it's more of removing something, right? It's removing a, an object, object from another object. Um, so, like, it's taking seeds out, taking the bones out, taking a portion of soup out, taking out a, a, thing, a side of mashed potatoes, right? So, there's really two different um, portions, um, options, and there's interact and non-interact. Um so those are the two options. Um, bins are going to be hugely important, so I'm super excited for that one. Um, I'm going to skip that. Um, maybe a uh, player teleporter might be good. Uh, those small odd rooms more useful. Um, I think those small rooms would be useful with the teleporter itself. 
Um, I think those are going to be really helpful out there. Um, if you're talking about player teleporter where you can teleport back and forth, maybe, might be eventually. Um, I would just toss that in in the suggestions in the um, Discord. I saw a bug. Sorry. I need a pen. I need a pen. Why does this happen? I mean, I got a crayon. Of course I have a crayon. Um... In-game bug, yes, yes, yes. No, the de there was decor decoration items are showing up in the blueprint desk because they probably shouldn't. So, um, that's probably one of those things. Uh, I'm super excited for that. Um, uh, yeah. Um, not sure this answered yet, um, but is there a way to fix multiplayer connection issues, a.k.a. lag? So, we'll, we'll go ahead and tackle that. Um, that's a big question, and I will do my best to answer that question um is the best way possible so right now the game currently when you do um co-op with friends or multiplayer it's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh network uh and so since it's peer-to-peer -peer, you have to connect to your friends or whoever you're playing with um uh system and so your latency is based off of how far they are, how good their system is, how good their internet is, how good your internet is, and all of those things. Um, many games that we know of do what's called a server-based um, connection, where they have servers hosted all over the world, um, and you connect to the server so that you have a guaranteed input and only lag would be on your side because it's based off your internet, uh, and then the server. Well, the problem with those is those are extremely expensive to maintain. Um, and so with the free updates and everything, you know, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying understanding that that's probably the only way you're really going to fix like every form of it. And even then it's not perfect. Right. So that is the only way to really not the only way. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. So that's an option, but I don't think it's an option, right? The game is run off of peer to peer. So really that's kind of the, um, the biggest things, right? And that's, that's. That's all we're saying here is um, make sure you uh, understand that. It's a little hard. So if you're playing for people across the world, there's going to be latency no matter what. Um, so, yeah, check that out. That's the best way to answer that. I, that's, I mean, we, we, he tr the, the developer tries to do as many fixes on the networking side of things within the game, like the peer-to-peer the -peer stuff, um, but it, it's not perfect. It's not one of those uh, flawless details and stuff. Um So we have another question. It looks like for, um, I hope that answered the question without answering. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for putting that out. Um, but yeah, go ahead and drop in support team. We have a couple things that you can try, um, in the played up discord. It's definitely an option, uh, that you have out there. Uh, but, uh, our bins getting cyclical upgrade system, uh, soccer asks, why well, am I not surprised you're asking that soccer? Uh, so yes, bins are getting a cyclical system. Um, specifically, I think I showed it off earlier, but we'll go ahead and show you. Um, there is your cyclical system, right? So it's going to be upgraded. So once you upgrade the bin, it just keeps going around in a circle just like the blueprint desks would uh, until you get the bin you want. Um, and that's true for sinks, uh, mixers, uh, also on there. Uh, soccer loves his bins. This is so true, right? Is, is it not like the most true thing out there? Um, yeah, so there's the answer to that question. Um, will tools like scrub brush, sharp knife, rolling pin, etc. Someone asked this question. I totally missed it in Discord, didn't I? Totally missed this in Discord. Um, uh, well, only I've only equipped it to stand and spawn at. Um, I think most. Hmm. I haven't, I haven't talked to the dev about it. I'll be blunt. So I'm going to go full my thoughts on this, right? So we're going to deviate completely off of this um, and say these are my thoughts on that, um, and I'm thinking on it right now. I see the benefit of it, right? So having it as a permanent thing where you have to put it back in the stand means you don't randomly put it down in places. However, um, like I know for myself, I love to... Ooh, rotating grabber, let's go. Um, I do um, think... 
having the ability to dump it somewhere is really nice, right? Being able to just like huck it on the ground because sometimes you have to pick up a tray, right? Or you have to pick up something else. Um, but it's definitely an option of something that you could look at. I just, I don't know how how much it would change. Because I know what you're talking about. So when you're like scrubbing and you actually put the scrub brush on like a, a grabber or you put it on a plate or um, all that kind of fun stuff. So um, I can imagine what that is yeah you want to pass it to other players too right um so i don't think i don't think it'll ever go away personally but as i said these are my thoughts these are my thoughts i don't want to say these are the devs thoughts um but these are my thoughts on this right um and so um yes uh with the trick or treat uh or with the twitch integrations are the orders and you going to transfer day to day or will it just be for the one uh has anyone noticed if they're changing um with this one uh, for the trick or treats, has it been changing? Has anyone had any changes? Have they been giving tricks or um, anything like that? That's a good idea, kids. Uh, so I, I haven't seen any changes. So yeah, I don't know. Um, of course, okay, says. I have not. Uh, I have not shown up. So I've did both and haven't been able to see things. Okay. Um, we'll have to test it. So I'll star that. And I will try to get an answer and maybe have it where we put it like in the Q&A or somewhere so everyone can read it if they want to um, in the main plate up Discord or something like that. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens on that one. Um, that one we're going to have to probably test out a little bit more privately, I think. Um, I played Trick and didn't see any tricks going on. Yeah, I don't. We'll see what happens. Um, oh, corn. I didn't know you got corn too, Ben. Look at that corn on the cob side. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Um, sorry, I got a little crazy. Um, but after this day, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have Ben hold up on the next day. Um, and we're going to roll the trailer again um, that I did uh, so you can all see all the new stuff, the new cards, um, and all that amazingness. Um, if you haven't seen any tricks either, yeah, I haven't seen anyone light on fire or anything. So we'll see what happens. Um, but we'll roll the trailer here really quick uh, so you can all see uh, all the new stuff. Um and everything that's in there. It's not everything, um, but it's definitely the options uh, that you have out there. Um, so we'll let Ben do that. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, roll that trailer one more time.
Wait for it. There it comes. There it goes. There it goes. It finally worked. It's back. Hi, everyone. We're back. Uh, I hope that helps you out. I'm going to keep, I'll play it one more time before the end of the stream. Um, it's also live on my YouTube right now. Um, I think I forgot to put a thumbnail on it, but hey, you know, um, you can go check that out over there too. Um, so, uh, with that being said, uh, let's get back into the question. Um, so, uh, are there any plans on making a new tray stand more intuitive for beginners? I have trouble converting people to using it. No, no. <laughs> um, it's because, like, there's no real way to make it more intuitive, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's super complicated because it does two dishes, and there's not really a way to make it better. More better. I think is the right word to use. So, so... I <laughs> um so basically that's the best way i can say it um is most likely no there's not gonna be much of a changes then got the jiggly bin yeah more better right i sorry sorry i shouldn't say more better it'll make things better i said it right the first time <laughs> sounds good plovey just keep putting it in there um yeah but pra it's it's the same thing i tell so on that note right um trays are a big thing if you want to get to we'll give you a little tips and tricks sides with lemur here um so uh, trays are one of the big things that I, I recommend everyone do uh, when you're trying to uh, go ahead and um, go longer runs. Uh, the second thing is learning how to control yourself using um, the floor buffers, the robot buffers, and using trainers at the same time. Um, the only way to keep up with things is just to go hypersonic mode and go super, super fast. Um, so if you get those two things down, and they do take a little bit of a learning curve, um, I would recommend them. Uh, so there's definitely something that you can do out there. Um, are Hobbs getting a circular upgrade system? Uh, drop that in Discord. Uh, they may want, but so yeah, tables and Hobbs currently aren't. Um, this is most likely going to be the other. That doesn't mean we still have a couple more days, so that maybe. Um, but as of right now, no. So right now, no, maybe. I hope that answers your question. Um, oh no. There you go. Sorry. You can go ahead and drop that too. Um, uh, has the speed of the soaking sin be been increased at all the new update? Actually, the answer to that question is yes. Yes, it has. The soaking sink is faster now. Um, it did get a small upgrade. Uh, so I hope you're excited for that one. Um, and as you did see, they are um, uh, cyclical. So you can go ahead and grab those uh, in there. So I hope you're excited for that one coming through. Um, I'm super excited. Uh, that means our soaking sink systems maybe can return and keep up with those dang dishes because they have so many problems. Devil Tiger, you left a pizza. What happened? What happened? You, 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 you weren't supposed to take the pizza and put it on your head. I mean, come on. Um, oh, ooh, Discord question. Are the new dishes locked behind a level requirement? Uh, no, they were locked behind the dish level requirement. So if you have access to fish and you have access to steak, you can access the new dishes. Um, and then the soups and everything are just random cards. So you can get those at any time is the best way to put it. Um, nice thought that soaking sink looked faster. Yes. Um, but yeah, super, super careful. Uh, with all the cyclical upgrades, people are going to have to be more careful. The cabinets. Very true, Mothalu. Uh, very, 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 very true. Um, uh, new question. Uh, what does potato salad not being a main mean? So currently in the game, there was a bug where if you took potato salad uh, and you tried to franchise the run, uh, it wouldn't let you franchise it if you got variety because it considered potato salad to do run um, or a new main. So now it won't do that anymore. So now you have the option of doing whatever <laughs> um so you can actually have it it's just a, like an extra now more than it is a main uh so uh super excited uh for that one um and having it out there and so yeah you get potato salad runs back i guess the best way to put it which i love potato salad one of my favorite dishes favorite dishes uh is making potato salad uh does the change from number of customers to groups change anything functionally that is i totally forgot we never talked about that yeah, uh, does that change anything functionally? So there's been a lot of um, misunderstanding on how the cards work. So let's go ahead and dive. We're going to dive deep into this one. Um, so the game originally only did group numbers, and then it flipped over to customers' numbers, and now it's going back to group numbers. The reason being is the game decides how many customers you're going to get based off of group numbers. So, right, so when you take a side... Right, you get a 15% reduction in customers. That reduction is actually a reduction in groups, not in actual customers. 
there are times where some maybe you come into one day, right? And you have four customers coming in and it's four tables of one. And then you get a side of potatoes and a 15% reduction, you lose one group, but those groups all become twos. Now you have six customers and people are like, wait, I took a reduction and gained customers? That makes no sense. The cuts, the groups is what's affected, not the customers. So the customer number is varying based on the randomness of the uh, what group numbers you get. So the more variability you have, the more chances of different group numbers, right? So I hope that answers your question. Um, so that's why the reversion, the revert went back in is because the group numbers are more important um, to see because that's what's actually affected, not the customer numbers. Um, it also tells you like how many groups you've got coming, right? So you, you need to know how many tables you have, which is awesome. Um, that's still there, right? Yeah, that is in there. I thought it was. Um, I'll have to look again because it should be in there. Uh, I missed the start of stream. What are the new dishes coming with the update? Uh, any reworks to theme cards? Um, so new dishes to the update are uh, you have bony fish. You have spiny fish. So bony fish is a fish uh, extra, like thin cut steaks or thick cut steaks. Spiny fish is a extra, just like um, how I said with bony steaks, but on the fish side of things. Both of them require extra work to do on them. So um, one is for the uh, bone and steak is you have to cook it, you serve it, uh, and then you have to take, and then once they're done eating, they leave the bone and you have to throw the bone out and then clean the dish. For the spiny fish, you have to take the, the bones out, uh, cook the fish and then give it to them and then deal with the bones. Um, then there's also obviously the pumpkin that we have in front of us. There are three new parts to the pumpkin. There's the pumpkin seeds, pumpkin soup, and pumpkin pie. Um, all of those are within every run. You can get them. Uh, and then the corn on the cob side is the other. Yeah, bone and, bone and steak. Thank you. I think I corrected myself the second time. Um, not the first time. Um, but yes, yes, bone and steak. Um, uh, reworks to theme cards. Nothing other than we did some fixes on some of the theme cards. So some of the theme cards had some serious bugs in them. Um, and I say we, the developer, um, did some fixes on those theme cards. I'm jumping over to my um, my notes over here on the one side because I want to get these correct. Um, so things like uh, the reusable, um, for affordable, uh, reusable uh, consumables uh, wasn't functioning properly. So that got fixed and updated um, to make sure it works properly for all of you. Um, oh, I think that was a trick right there if you didn't see it where the patient's bar didn't reset when they got the first um, dish. Um, and then, uh, there was the issue of, uh, 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 certain things not combining right when it comes to like having fancy tables plus exclusive plus sides and all that stuff. So the numbers were all messed up there. Uh, and then on top of it, when you pick, uh, the, um, theme card, uh, it hops up and shows you the sides. I'm looking for my theme card notes right here. Cause I have a picture of it. I mean, you know what you have to take. <laughs> you know what you have to take. Uh, I have a picture of the theme card, I thought. Maybe I don't. I did not take one. Um, but yeah, so you get the uh, on the sides when you're picking a theme, uh, it shows up. Um, which theme is on the sides. Uh, so you'll see like the tiers on there. So you know which tier, um, what each one does is the best way to put it. So it shows up on the side for the theme questions. Um, what is the possibility for new affordable consumable renewable? I don't know the exact number, uh, but it works now. I guess it's the best way to put it. Um, it did work before. Uh, so now it works. So you have a chance to get it. Um, but thank you uh, for asking that question. I hope I, I give you the good answer on that one. Um, wow, we really went deep on that theme cards. I apologize. Um, does tipping culture card mean you get more money on the base price for serving ASAP, or does it mean the base price and goes down? It's the base price and it goes down. So it's fun. Uh, thank you for that prime, by the way, uh, in theory. Uh, it means so much. Um, but yeah, it just means it goes down. So the longer you take, the longer it takes for you to make money or the less money you get for the longer it takes you to serve it. So even if you serve it instantly, um, you'll get the full amount uh, of what it costs. Um, any considerations to show upgrade pass and cycles in game? 
so that I think that relates more to the UI problem, right? Um, it's definitely an option that, that could happen, but with, with so much information on a UI trying to cram it all in there, um, the developer even said like UI is their biggest struggle. Um, they can see picky eaters right here in the middle if you see it. This is picky eaters where they didn't eat all their food and you have to clean it off now. Um, but um, uh, I was answering a question about uh, cycles. Um, so it'd be difficult to show unless it was like on a, like a recipe menu, but even then I, there's no conversation around it, right? Um, I would just say, um, can I get x from played up wiki? Uh, go to the wiki. The wiki is kept up to date. It's amazing. I keep it up when I'm streaming or playing played up always on the side always on the side right it's always over there for me so i would highly recommend just keeping the wiki up um it gives you all the answers that you ever need so if you didn't know uh go in there um but yes um will there be new tools um so pretty much everything is in the patch currently um that's going to be for the most part um there is no plan on any new tools for this patch um, hmm, I has a meme alt game mode idea. I don't want to submit suggestions, but would you hear your thoughts on it if I may? Um, you're more than welcome to send me a message in Discord if, if you if you're worried about it. Um, and you can bring it up. Um, you know, and you're more than welcome to send that to me. Um, privately if you wish. That's totally an option for you. Uh, what's the problem? I oh, answered that question really quickly. Um, I rarely see gas overrides against them as in use. Uh, has anything changed? Oh no! Oh no! I got you, Ben. Ah, I'm saving. I save. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, has anything changed for those? Nothing has changed for those. Um, we've seen the suggestions about gas overrides and uh, gas limiters uh, and trying to figure out something for those. Um, so it's it's been seen. Um, I don't see anything for this, right? We, we only, um, we're going, we're, the, the developers working on this patch, getting through the launch of this patch, um, and then the conversation around the next patch will begin. Um, so get those, you know, have those suggestions in there, and it's something that can be maybe talked about possibly. Um, so I hope that answers, slightly answers your question. Um, are there any main dishes being added to the patch Halloween themed or not? Uh, the answer to that question is, um, uh, basically no. Um, they're all sides, um, or not sides, they're starters, desserts, um, and extras. There was no uh, plan. We did a lot, the developer did a lot of dish additions initially. Um, and so they're just trying to add more sides and stuff and soups and things because they were very limited. Um, we have nine options. I think it's nine. My head says nine. It might be more than that. Um, for mains, as we're like soups, you have three. Uh, sides, there's five four there's four now there's five um starters you really only have soups but now you get the pumpkin seeds um desserts there really wasn't that many options so they wanted to to, to add some extra stuff in there um so four soups now yes um and all that great stuff um but um there was a note i saw from somebody um that i wanted to bring up here really quick um it was in the bug fixes um, um one thing i do want to know uh is previously um side the sides when you gave out sides um they were not equating properly uh sides were giving out the exact same value as um the main dish so if you were serving stir fry and they ordered a side you would get 20 um coin instead of uh, 10 plus the three that you would get for having like a corn on the side, right? So it would have been eight. You were getting 20 for that one dish that you served instead of the 13 that it should have been. Um, so that's been fixed. So you should see a small decrease in the amount of money you make uh, if you have sides. Um, also, I do want to cover the um, staple changes uh, that we did have uh, that people have asked about. Uh, so there are staples of the game. There are Stable blueprints we're going to talk about really quick. Um, and so uh, basically plates were never supposed to be a reoccurring staple. Um, 
they were always supposed to be a oh ben's got a corner grabber hey look he's checking out that look at that look at that look at that beautiful corner grabber and a tele oh he's got teleporters coming a corner grabber uh oh uh oh look out everybody look out um ben do you mind pulling out that that uh teleporter and showing how much it costs <laughs> there you go a corner grabber i see you wonk um but there you go. So now we've got uh, all kinds of fun stuff, all kinds of great things. Um, but you can see how teleporter price is pretty nasty. Uh, but that's because it's extremely powerful. Um, I got super sidetracked. Staples. <laughs> Let's go back to staples. Um, how much is the corner grabber? It's 60. It's the same as the others. Um, today it's a pumpkin grabber, yes. Uh, so staples. There was originally the staples of sinks, counters. Well, they are sinks, counters, uh, hobs, tables, uh, technically research desk, plates, and blueprint cabinets. Um, however, blueprint cabinets and research desks currently, right, in the current 105 version, were the only two that once you bought one of them, they were removed from the staple options. However, um, plates kept reoccurring. Well, plates were never supposed to reoccur. Once you bought them, they were supposed to fall off the staple list. So, with that being said, now they will fall off that staple list, which means, one, you can re-roll into them, uh, and two, uh, is that you'll be allowed to get them. Uh, but it also should increase the chances. I know some people, early days, they talk about, why well, I bought plates. I haven't gotten my research desk yet. I want to get two research desks. That should increase your chances of getting those two research desks a little bit because you're taking literally something off of the staple list. So where if you don't have that first two or haven't bought that research desk, it should increase the odds of getting that research desk. So um, I do want to talk about the staples. I totally apologize, but that was a big update that I thought people might be excited for that. Um, in essence, if you're having issues finding a research desk, just go buy plates and you can increase the odds of getting research desk. Um, so I hope that answers the question. I, I kind of convoluted that one a little bit. Um, what does normal tier system stream mean? Um, no worries. Uh, so uh, no more tier system is talking about soups. It's talking about steaks. There's other ones out there. Um, but basically um, before, uh, if you had a, I'm gonna take some water. Um, before, when you had your soups, right, it always went carrot soup into meat soup into tomato soup, and that was it. Now, you can get any soup right off the bat. That includes steak as an option, so you can get any steak off the bat, right? It's not just one option that you're forced into before you get the other ones. You can get any of them, so it gives a little bit more variety to the run um, is really what it, it, it comes down to. Um, uh uh, any changes to the minimum number of variety cards offered in the franchise? Uh, I've been seeing some conversations around this. I think I've seen a couple people asking about that. Um, I haven't talked about it. So I would say maybe is the best way to answer that one. Um, it'll be something that we can have a conversation with. I've seen the suggestions. I just haven't had that conversation yet because we were focused on this patch. So maybe. not Nothing yet, but maybe later. Um, is the best one to answer that question on that one. Um, but um, as we see here, though, I want to talk about um, uh, some of the grabbing and the portioning. So some people have asked about automation um, and how automation is going to work uh, when it comes to these new fish dishes, uh, the new bone and steaks, um, the picky eaters with the messes off of them, all of that different stuff. Um, is one of those things that, that people have asked about. Um, I've seen a little bit in chat over here to the side. Um, and specifically, you're going to have to like portion things, right? So portioning gets the messes out, as you can see Ben's got right here. Uh, but you're going to have to grab portioners off and then use bins. So bins are going to become extremely important to all these runs with all of these new items, um, which they really weren't used before, right? Like you could live without a bin as long as you didn't make a big mistake. You could survive without having a bin. Um, but basically, um, you're going to have to include portioners. That includes on dishes, right? So basically, all you have to do then is have a portioner clean off the dish, and then it can go into your dish system, and then whatever's on the portioner get grabbed off and put into a bin. Um, so so that's how you're going to have to automate things is you're going to have to add a little bit. Now, with that being said, don't forget, we have teleporters now. So it's not like that system is going to have to be in line, right? You can have it in a hidden wall in the back um, 
where you can chase it through and pull portioners out and have all these bins in a separate section. Um, with that being said, though, I do want to talk about teleporters because I, I, I will hopefully Ben will get one eventually if he gets a research desk going. Um, but I think he's got to get lucky on a research desk. Um, is um, the teleporters do have a number on them now. So basically you can see that they'll have a little number locating and so you know which teleporters are linked. So they'll have like the number one and the number one. So those two teleporters will be linked one and one, two and two, three and three, four and four. So you know where they are and which ones they're linked. Um, I don't know if Ben's going to be able to get that out. Maybe. I don't know. He's not going to, I don't know if he's going to make $2,500 here in the next five minutes, um, but we just need him to get a research desk or a discount desk to make that happen. Um, if not, we'll uh, maybe pull something else up to make sure it happens. Um, do you need to buy two teleporters? Yes. Yes, you do. Um, but Ben's having fun with his rotating grabbers right now. I can tell. Um, okay, let's go back to this. What are the plate up tools? What have people? Uh, what have people made to make plate up easier? What are the plate up tools? What have people made to make plate up easier? Um, so uh, plate up tools is a web page uh, that you can go to. Um, this will give you access to. Of course, that doesn't work because um, I didn't make it. So I'll just copy and paste it really quick. It's my fault. Um, but basically, it's a web page that shows you seeds. It shows you, um, allows you to make new layouts um, within those layouts. Like, so you can kind of plan out your layouts within seeds, all of that kind of cool stuff, right? So it's it's ways to think about what you're doing long term um, and have fun with that. And you can see all kinds of different seeds, um, all kinds of different options, and all kinds of fun, fun stuff like that. So um, definitely, uh, um, but yeah, definitely something you can use to go ahead and, and do that really quick for yourself if you want it. Um, let's jump back over to this. There we go. Any chance of a casual mode um, that ends the run but doesn't need... So, sandbox mode. We're bringing up the sandbox mode. He got another desk! Yay! Wait, he did? Where did he get another desk? Oh, right there. Got it. Um, yeah, desk out desks are going to be huge now. On the blueprint desk. I see it now. Um, I got sidetracked. I do that. There was no scroll moment there. Any chance of a casual mode that ends sandboxes? So... The problem with making a sandbox mode or, or any extra mode is it requires the developer who is a single developer, um, like it's one person that does the whole development thing, um, is that it's a huge undertaking for them, right? On top of trying to continue content, on top of all the other things that they're trying to get done. So realistically, I would say, um, you know, maybe eventually but right now it's not in in the works in this exact moment um but definitely one of those things that it, it's a lot of work um i would say with the goal of making eventually getting the workshop up and running uh so that we can have mods uh for plate up i think that's one of those things that uh, you could definitely look at as as maybe where you're going to see it first. I think there technically is one that exists. Now, I do want to note, um, any mods you do download are one of those things that you download at your own risk, right? Um, I can't promise that they're going to uh, perfectly work or um, anything of that nature, right? I think you understand what I mean is... Um, um, they could cause problems, right? They're not they're not verified or anything of that nature, so you download them at your own risk. Um, but I think there is a sandbox mode one um, out there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if you want, there is a Discord for um, all the modding going on. It's an unofficial Discord. Um, they work on it. Um, and, and as I said, though, it's at your own risk. Um, that should be exclamation mark mods. I believe that one. There you go. Um, so you're more than welcome to go check that out. Does the update come out tomorrow? It comes out, depending on where you are, yes is the answer to that question. Um, the answer to that question is yes. It comes out on October 25th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is... I'm going to do the math. I'm mathing. Hang on. 6 p.m. British Summertime, I believe, um, on the 25th. So uh, daylight time, I think... It's six hours, probably if you're in, in the U.K., um, that sounds right to you. I'm correct. Okay, I'm in the ballpark. Woo! I had to do a live live time zone conversions from Pacific. <laughs> um, I, I did I did a good thing. Um, any funny bugs happen during oh during testing? Oh my goodness. Um, 
Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Suddenly, math, right? Yes. Um, best bug I saw coming out of the playtesting. Flames is here. Flames is going to love this one. Uh, <laughs> Flames knows exactly which one I'm about to bring up, too. There was a boo-boo at one point where buff the, the buffers, the robot buffers, were having some issues with um, being objects, right? So right now, they kind of just float around, right? And they were being objects, so they were blocking doors. They were blocking windows. They were causing things to switch. Well, um, they caught on fire, too, and you couldn't put them out. So you just had a mobile fire unit just walking around your kitchen on fire, just like, woo, like walking around and floating around. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. It was the best. <laughs> um, it was literally just, it was amazing, right? It was just so cool because like, you just saw this little bot rolling around on fire. I, You know what? I'm pulling up a picture. I'm going to pull up a picture because it was it's too good not to show. It's too good not to show. Let me see if I can find it. Um, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Let's see if I can find a picture of it. I think, I, I think it's still there. Is it still there? I'm looking. Let's see if I can find a fire. Cause that was, it was too funny. That was one of the best ones. Um, we've had some door issues, um, where the doors are possessed. I think I might've closed it. Um, uh, there's a clip. Oh yeah. I'll pull it up later. Um, but it was, it was too good. Neutralize Ben made a franchise. Yay, ben! Round of applause for Ben. Nice job. What tricks, what tricks on too, right? I think we have tricks on, don't we? Um, uh, oh, the return of the yes, yes, ra raining blueprints. So that was hilarious. Where just blueprints just started raining from the sky nonstop. It was hilarious. Um, uh, what else was there? There was the doors where you'd open one door and another door would open. It was ridiculous, right? There was random doors opening all over the restaurant. Um, what other bugs did we have? Oh, uh, you saw this one if you watched the plate the, the plate upstream on Yoke's cast and all that stuff. Um, where when uh, things would go on conveyors and stuff, they just like go off to nowhere but then end up where they were supposed to they were popping all over the place um uh probably those ghost customers again to opening doors yeah um and they would lock the doors too so you couldn't get through so you'd be stuck trying to get in and you're like no let me out like it was hilarious um so so fun it was so fun um uh, but yeah, we had a lot of fun stuff like that. Obviously, people trying to figure out teleporters without numbers was fun because um, that was definitely difficult as Ben's working on some automation over here. Um, I'm trying to think what else there was. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at them right now um, if there's any fun ones. Um, it was fun when we found out that teleporters can serve too. That was so cool to see. So cool. Um Oh, someone figured out that you could throw out plates. You could throw out all your plates if you wanted to. Like, literally in the garbage. You could just throw them out. Like, buy plates um, and just pitch them all. Uh, <laughs> um, I think those were the major ones um, that we had. That They were too much fun. They were too much fun. Um, but we had a blast with that. Uh, okay, let's get back to the questions. Now that we got solely sidetracked on fun glitches. Um, any changes to dumb waiters other than teleporters? No. No. Just no. Sorry. I wish I had a better answer than no. <laughs> but no, there's no changes to dumbwaiters um, other than they upgrade to, to teleporters, which many of us, will, I know some people have asked about changing them to smart grabbers, um, but teleporters is the better option um, for that one. Where's the discount desk? Come on, hurry up. Um, I'm, I'm being mean, Ned. Um, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm critiquing his work. Uh, as he, uh, Did he say about lobsters? I didn't say anything about lobsters. Did I? Did I say lobsters? So dumbways are going away? No. Um, they're not going away. Um, is there going to be a place for a reroll function like how a practice mode from the start menu now? Um, I did bring that up. Uh, that was a conversation we had. Ooh, look at the automation. Look at that beautiful. It's it's beautiful. Be look at round of applause for Ben for automating pumpkin seeds. There you go. Clip it now if you want it. That's how you automate pumpkin seeds. Enjoy. Um uh I got sidetracked. 
re-roll function. Yeah, it was talked about uh, as a conversation, so you don't have to leave the restaurant to go do re-rolling. Um, it's just hard with having the money amount on it too, so you'd have to put it like in the menu with the money amount next to it and have to be changing um, and it'd be dynamic. So um, no promises, but it's definitely a possibility of something that could happen. Um, so yeah, um, possible. Uh, will dumb waiters get links to teleporters? My guess is no. This is 100% my guess, but with what I know, I would say no. Most likely no. Um, yeah, I'd probably go with no on that one. Uh, because teleporters are already linking to teleporters, and linking them to smart grabbers means anytime you bought, or anytime you uh, link them to dumb waiters, means you'd have to remember which dumb waiter, like it would have to label it. And then if you wanted to do teleporter to teleporter, you'd have to be able to redo the linking system between teleporters and uh, dumb waiters. And I just see that getting very complicated. Um, so my guess is no, it probably won't um, be out there. Um, uh, any other new appliances other than teleporter or corner grabber? Uh, no, there is nothing new outside the teleporter or corner grabber for appliances, um, but there is all kinds of new stuff. Um, uh, cards and um, uh, dishes and modes and trick-or-treat functions within the um, fun thing and all that kind of fun stuff and decorations and new floors. As you can see, there's a new floor here. This is my favorite floor, by the way. This hexagon, so cool. So freaking cool. Um, this hexagon flooring is, is fantastic. Um, but there's six new wallpapers and four new floors out there. So... Um, you're more than welcome, you know, check that out. Um, we'll run, I will run my trailer one last time um, at the end of stream. Um, we'll run it one last time um, on the way out there. Um, but if you want to look for it, you can go grab it on my YouTube. It's over there um, right now if you want to go check it out. Um, so you can check it out uh, over there. There's a, should be a YouTube link um, popping up eventually uh, when it's there. Uh, I was asking if lobsters are going to be a thing for, fe oh wait, I skipped a question. Sorry. Uh, is there any way to use a seed randomizer in the future? I like finding new seeds. We haven't talked about it. It's never been, it has not been discussed. Um, so I would drop it in the suggestions if it's not there already um, or just bump it so we see it. Um, so maybe, but I, it has not been even talked about, uh, but definitely something you could bring up in the suggestions in the plate of Discord um, for sure. Um, Um, are dumb windows are potentially even worth it anymore with the invention of teleporters? So dumb waiters, there's actually a really good use for them. Um, they are um, a gate, meaning you can use them in line of a bunch of grabbers and stuff um, to where you can stop the line of grabbers, right? So maybe you have a teleporter um, that's going to feed all of your dishes to a specific plate or a specific table or, or something of that nature, right? Um, you can use the dumbwaiter as a stop to not serve the dishes until you're ready to serve them. Um, and then you can open the dumbwaiter and have it push through. Um, so you can use them as like an on-off switch. Um, so I still think there is um, a specific thing that you would really want to have on there. Um, so I would definitely... Um, Make sure you do that for sure. Um, I was gonna. I was asking if lobsters are gonna be a thing for a fancy restaurant. Uh, drop the suggestion in there. Drop an idea if you want to think about having lobsters as an option, um, as like an extra side or something, um, and what their options could be, and kind of describe the dish. Um, that's definitely something you could drop in the plate up suggestions. That's where we get most of the suggestions. I try to go between streams, talking to people, seeing what they're doing, um, people that, you know, and, and try to get ideas. I, I normally have at least four or five streams open pretty much all day. Um, so I look at those two, um, to try to help out with suggestions and stuff. Uh, cause sometimes they're randomly in there and then they don't end up in the plate up discord and that's no fun. Um, is there a list somewhere of everything that's new? Uh, the patch notes will not come out until, uh, the launch of the game uh, on the 25th. Um, but uh, as I said, the video I have is probably the closest thing you're going to get um, and until the patch notes come out. So um, that's the best way I can answer that. Sorry. Um, I recall some discussion of the Discord about improving food selection functionality at headquarters. Has this been discussed? Ooh, great question. Um, yes, that has been discussed. I actually talked about it today, I think. Uh, we talked about it again. Um, there is a, a long-term hope to look at redoing the entire lobby section, possibly. Um, that includes like 
what that looks like, the workshop, um, how many dishes, what dishes, and really having that conversation. Um, it's been talked about and what that looks like. It's a big undertaking and how it's going to be balanced and, and all of those kind of things. So uh, my, my statement of that will be, um, yes, it's definitely been talked about um, and having that conversation. Um, it's just, a, it's a little bit, not, you know, we're trying to get through the, this patch um, and what next patch looks like is going to be discussed after this patch gets close live. Um, so I really can't give like a timetable on anything on that, um, but it's definitely going to be talked about. It's been talked about um, and it's something that's being looked at for sure. I know, I know that's kind of a vague question, but we really haven't talked about um, like I haven't talked to the developer like have we, the next patch is next patch, right? That's what I'm trying to say. It's like we're, we're getting through this patch two days out. We're trying to do those last minute um, options. Um, so uh, is there any sort of Twitch integration with picking an outfit as a customer? Not currently, no, it's just random uh, right now. Um, but uh, also, don't forget again, as you just saw uh, Mikey pop up there, um, if you're not part of the Played Up Community Discord, please do so. Um, join in there. There you can drop suggestions. You can get the latest information on the game. Um, you have access to all kinds of things, uh, events, such as the event that just ended with the Halloween cooking contest, all kinds of stuff. So you're not there already, make sure you do that. Um, if you've never been to my channel, I do a ton of Played Up. Uh, I pretty much play, up, play, play Played Up every time I stream. Um, I love to push the game and break it, and I let people take stuff away from me. Um, so you're more than welcome to come check that out and test it um, uh, and come play. So make sure you drop a follow if you haven't done so already. Um, and thank you for all of those who are following uh, and all that great stuff. Um, but um, basically, um, yeah, uh, make sure you jump in that Discord too um, so you can get those questions answered. Um, yes, I like the boy Mikey. Um, I also have a YouTube that I do content every single day on YouTube, uh, Played Up. Um, will we ever have more than one save? Oh, Let's go back to the save question. Um, we did a talk to these at the beginning of stream. So I'm going to cover these uh, this again. So originally the game was not designed to be put up and put down, um, meaning like you're stopping and pausing, right? Um, and since we see players that really take a whole advantage of this emergency save system um, in ways that it was not anticipated when the game came out, um, they're looking into ways to redefine what saves look like for, for players, right? Whether that is um, so... I did, I did talk to the dev a little bit more about this conversation. And what it is, is is currently the save function, right? And I'm putting air quotes around this. It takes an immediate, accurate, perfect screenshot of the game that's occurring right at that moment, right? And so going to multiple saves is a huge undertaking because you have to find a way to combine those saves in essence into one save while still remaining the accuracy that we currently have where everything remains the same, the cards remain the same, customer numbers remain the same, money remains the same, everything remains the same. So developing multiple saves is, is definitely a bigger undertaking. Um, I know there's a chance that like the modding community might do something, um, uh, but that's not nothing official yet um, and all that stuff. So um, but it's something that's being talked about, right? The saves is definitely a conversation that is is a regular conversation um, that is being talked about. Uh, it was a crash recovery system. Yes, um, that's a good way of putting it. Thank you. Um, any notable changes to appliances like heated mixers? Yes. Uh, who was that? El Elwin? Are you here, Elwin? I want you to hold your breath. Hold your breath. Um... And so uh, he, this is a big one. Heated mixers got a big buff. I'm going to flat out say they got a huge buff. They're twice as fast and they don't burn things anymore. No more burning. That's right. So all those things, they can mix faster and they're going to cook. Or they mix at the same speed as a normal mixer, but they cook twice as fast as they used to. And they don't burn the options. So that's a huge buff for heated mixers. So they're actually an appliance now. Um, they exist. Um, <laughs> totally worth it, right? Like it's one of those things. Um, and on top of it, they're a cyclical thing. Um, <laughs> I saw that bowl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> Safety mixer hob. Yay! Are they more expensive? Nope. Nope. They are not more expensive. They are the same price that they used to be. Have you used the new heated mixer yet? I have not. Um, I don't get tons of time to do the new patches. I try, I try to play them as much as I can. Um, the, the testers do mo most of the testing. I do a lot of, like... Um, 
duplication or I try to do a run here and there, um, but they play a lot more than than I do. Um, I don't know if any of them have tested it yet um, because that was kind of a late addition to the patch. Um, so it'll probably get tested over the next day or two. Fire! I'm coming! I'm coming, man! I fixed fire! <laughs> okay, leave. <laughs> um, how much faster is the same as conveying mixers? So... Um, conveying mixer got uh, reduced and it's because it was a glitch that the conveying mixer was the same speed as rapid mixer so the normal mixer speed is the standard seat the rapid mixer is faster than that but the conveying mixer and the heated mixer are the same mixing speed as a normal mixer um, but they have the extra function cooking speed um, I believe it came from 0.2 to 0.4 if I believe uh, what the what is what the, the actual numbers are um, so it was a 0.2 speed and now it's a 0.4 speed so uh, double is a big one big one big 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 double big points right so it actually is functional um it's right still slower than a safety hub yes but for like fish and stuff i'm just saying that removes so much room it removes room like that removes the need to have like conveying mixer into safety hub into grabber right like there's so much like oh so cool okay sorry uh maybe to um yeah, so a couple things um, that if you didn't catch on the thing, there's a couple quality of life things that are really um, cool that have hopped out. Um, specifically, some of those are uh, pies no longer need plates. Yay! So you can just shove a pie at people. Um, like, just be like, take pie um, and throw it at them. They have to be savages and eat with their hands. No dishes, no nothing. Um, so no plates on dessert pies anymore, uh, which is super exciting on that one. Uh, and then um, soaking sinks got a buff. They're a little bit faster. Um, on the discount desk. Oh, teleporters are in our future. I feel like teleporters are in our future. Uh, dessert pies, not mains. Yes, thank you. Um, for reminding me. Uh, dessert pies no longer need dishes. Um, we just talked about the heated mixer. What other quality of life things? Uh, your potato salads, um, with variety franchises are going to be usable again. Um, so you can use those because they're no longer considered a main. So they're not going to be locked. So you can do your potato salads again, which is my favorite dish. Um, that's probably it right there. One of them. Um, I think the heated mixer one's probably my favorite though. If I had to, if I had to say, um, oh yeah, the cyclical upgrades. That's a big one. Yeah. So if you didn't know, um, I'll pull up my little data sheets again. Um, we have um, now cycles. So just like the uh, research desks and stuff, you have bins. They cycle through each one as you upgrade them. Um, you have mixers that cycle through each one. So if you get mixed, whatever mixer you want, um, and same with sinks. And no longer is the dishwasher an upgrade of the wash basin. It's just in the cycle. Um, so it's the, it's the same price, uh, but you can grab it whenever you want to. So super, super cool stuff. Um, but yes, yes, soaking sinks are faster. Um, they're set. Uh, so the cycles are... I have to pull them up. I haven't memorized them yet. Uh, it goes wash basin, dishwasher, soaking sink, power sink um, is the order for that one. And mixers, it's heated, conveying rapid. And the bin is um, uh, compacting, composting, and expanded uh, for those bin upgrades. Entry into the cycles are random. Yes, yes, yes. The orders are fixed. It's a compact. Yeah, I think compacting, I think. Um, okay. Are there any other uh, noted, notable speed changes to appliances of the updates? Um, as I said, the conveying mixer got reduced on its uh, mixing speed. Uh, the soaking sink got a buff. Um, the um, heated mixer got a big buff. Um, big, 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 big buff. Um... Uh, we fixed the, the the developer fixed the 25% cost reduction not applying to upgraded blueprints. That's an option thing that's in there that I haven't talked about yet. Um, appliances. Uh, oh, um, the grabbers and smart grabber interactions. So there was an issue where grabbers, if they were a T intersection with a smart grabber going this way and the grabber was going this way, they wouldn't pull um, from the smart grabber. Um, so in this case... Um, that got repaired, so that should be fixed now, um, where you can pull um, there. So some of those automation systems, but with corner grabbers and stuff, that might even change all of that stuff. Um, let's see. Um, oh, the affordable tier one, uh, the thinking changes got fixed, so it applies to the thinking um, buff it's supposed to. Um, and then the reusable... Um, 
reusable consumables um, got fixed on there, um, but those are the ones that I see. <clears throat> uh, all right, um, hydration. Will dumb waiters eventually get a link system teleporters kit? Uh, I never talked to the dev about it, um, but my assumption is no, they won't um, because of the complexity of trying to have to then relink things or something of that nature. Oh wait, eventually get the link system the teleporters got. Oh, I didn't understand that question right. Um, probably. I think I think that's something I could that could be brought up. Um, if you want to go ahead and drop that in the uh, played up Discord or something of that nature, go ahead and do that yourself. Um, you also have a, a different way too um, for that question. But yes, thank you for that question. That's a good good point. Uh, close to what? Think I think. Um. um any changes to the dishwasher was annoying starting to empty it and not being able to stop it. Uh, no, nothing changes to the dishwasher. Um, I've seen a couple people ask about maybe having it where it's upgradable to be an automatic dishwasher. Um, I think that was the point behind uh, upgrading the soaking sinks and making them a little bit faster so that the soaking sinks are the only automatic thing um, that you can use, especially with teleporters now um, with their being faster um, it should allow that to happen. Dishwashers still have their uses, though, right? Um, they still remove an action if you have tables of four where you just throw the dishes in and then they get pulled out and they're great. Um, but I think the, the goal was to have each appliance, right? Power sink does dishes really fast. Dishwasher cleans four dishes, takes a little bit longer, but it, it at least cleans four dishes and then it automatically does it for you. Um, power sink's fast. Wash basin holds four. You can do them. At, at your rate with multiple people, right? I think there's a lot of benefits to each one of them, and the goal was to try to keep those all interactive through making them better. Um, any changes to make your own patties? No, um, no, other than I guess the conveying mixer got slowed down, and the heated mixer is a safety mixer and got a little bit faster. Um, but it's still the same way where you have to combine the eggs with the chopped up meat um, and combine them on the back end. Um, a bug? What bug? Clip it. Drop it. Wherever the bug is. Oh, they're changing their orders? I save. I don't know how much I can save, but... I can hold the dish. I think this is the end of the run. Oh, no! Um, change orders like a duty at times. Yeah, I think there's a, a, a patch coming through on that. Um, <laughs> I, th I might not be on that the latest, Cran. It might have gotten updated before we started this. I should probably just remove input. There you go. Do your thing. Um, but GG's. Being an input made it harder, by the way. Well, it made more customers come in. Yeah, true. Um, uh, I, I might be behind, right? I might be behind one. I don't know. Um, it's possible. Um, okay, so going back to other things. Do you know... Um, when Ben is going to get a teleporter. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> um, uh, but we can go ahead and I think I can go ahead. We're going to remove visits for a second. Ben, if you want to go ahead and pull it in, um, I can at least show what teleporters work like. Um, and I could pull that up really quick. Yeah, uh, whatever you want to do. I'll do fish or something. Oh, okay. That's what I figured was going to happen. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to drop the stuff on here. So I'm just uh, making sure I pull this up so Ben can do that. You can just go ahead and leave it, Ben. Oh, you can't do it, lol. Well, you can just quit. <laughs> or fish or steak, either one. All right, there's fish. Uh, but we can at least show you what those look like. Um, do we ever get the most most visit treat? I don't want to spoil it. Where it lights on fire? Yes. Um, show the flaming Buffy. Oh, that's right. I've got. I gotta go look for that. It was a clip. Um, let me know when you're ready, Ben. Hey, you're in. Okay. Um, so I'll go ahead and get Ben so he can show you teleporters really quick. There you go. 
Bend has teleporters now. Um, and I'll, I'll throw you one rotating grabber just for... So you have it. There you go. And then I will reopen... Chef for everybody. So you all can visit again. Authorize. There we go. Alright. Oh, no. Sorry. No! Oh, God. I made mistakes. Uh, where's my button? There we go. More better. Oh. <laughs> Do you need practice mode? You should be able to get into it. I know what I'm doing. Uh, professionalisms. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Ben's going to go ahead and get that stuff up and running now. Um, keep an eye out today's transfer. Yes, that's a good call um, on there. Oh, there it is. Thank you. you amazing crayon. Um... Here you go. There's your fire, Buffy. Just lighting things on fire and you can't turn it off. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so fantastic. More fire? <laughs> and that's Optimus Crime, true. <laughs> um, so there you go. Uh, so Ben's going to show off these a little bit here for us. Uh, yeah, it's an Optimus Crime. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, all right, let's go back to the questions, though, um, while Ben gets all set up and, and shows off some teleporter action. Um, that was something to handle. Oh, I can only imagine what that was like. Um, let's go back to this. Um uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead. Uh, ben, are you how far out are you from being set up? Do you need a minute? Like two minutes? Or are you good? Yes, for two minutes? Okay. So we're, let's just go ahead and roll the um, footage one last time for the trailer. Uh, and then Ben can show off um, the last stuff. So we're going to go ahead and roll that trailer really quick uh, while Ben gets things set up. Um, and you can all see what's coming for the batch.
Wait, there we go. We're back. Welcome back, everyone. So Ben's going to go ahead and launch the day here now. Um, Ben's going to get going. Um, but you're going to see this teleporter in action um, and how amazingly strong it is. Um, yeah, it's day one, but um, we're kind of showing some things off here just so everyone can see it um, here for the end of everything. Um, but um, you'll see how the teleporter works. Um, you can use it to... Um, basically do everything, right? So now that he's got seeds, he'll just throw them on the teleporter and they take it. Uh, this is why they're so strong uh, is because of what they can do, right? And you can just pass it back and forth. It's just absolutely ridiculous, uh, especially if like a grabber system going and everything. Um, so he's going to get a bluefish going with a, a steak. Um, but yeah, teleporters now are just amazing, right? I'm super excited to see where these go and where people take them um, because I think the automation is about to get out of control and it also makes it where um, any restaurant is is an option. Um, even those crazy huge restaurants with little tiny rooms and stuff, you can use them because as long as you have a teleporter, you can do what you want, which even that option right there alone is amazing. Uh, just throwing a dish back instead of having to run all the way, the amount of time that he just saved, is just it's just ballistic. Totally, totally crazy out there. Um, but um, really, um, I think that's pretty much going to be it for the evening for the Q&A, everyone. Um, I, I really do hope that all of you have enjoyed this. Um, we'll let Ben finish out this day. Um, but if you like these, we do them every other week or every fortnight. Um, uh, can I get a shout out for the pull late up? You wait, is buy until we're going to give you both ends or you have to buy it twice. You have to buy it twice. Um, but thank you uh, for having it, for coming, hanging out. Um, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and follow it. Um, I do all play it up all the time. You can ask your questions. I try to answer them on stream even if I can, uh, the best I can. If you're not part of the Play It Up Discord, please go be a part of it. Uh, they do all kinds of crazy events and cool things. So please check those out on there. Um, yeah, yeah, it serves the table next to it just like a conveyor would. Um, it's a really cool thing. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure you have that wiki up. Check out the wiki. Um, if you have questions or suggestions, drop them in the Discord. Um, and we will talk about the next one, the next Q&A in two weeks. It'll most likely be um, not this Thursday, but the next Thursday after that. Um, when we come in here, um, thank you, Loki, for that that Prime sub or that sub. Um, but just go ahead and um, drop those questions in the Play Up Discord. We'll answer them. Um, these are two-hour events. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, and say good night to everybody there. Thank you all so much for coming in, um, hanging off, um, and, and hanging out with us. So, everyone, please have a great evening. Stay fantastic. Stay great. Stay healthy and stay happy. And we will see you all on the next Play Up stream. Or if you're coming to hang out, I'll see you on Tuesday for my stream. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for coming, hanging out, having fun, um, and keep those questions coming. Um, good night, everyone.